fifth grade. Yeah. Sun soccer. Uh, <laughs> you might have gotten uh, thrown out of the game. Oh my God! Let me tell you that story. Uh, <laughs> Jordan and my son Jordan and his best friend Ian uh, were in a uh, very competitive fifth grade soccer game, and Ian's father and I, Pete, did not like the calls that the ref, the umpire, was making, and uh, we got a little carried away, and believe it or not, totally embarrassed. Our fault, he blew the whistle, and he stopped the game, and he removed us from the soccer field. Now, <laughs> to be removed from a soccer field, you gotta, it's a long walk. <laughs> and uh, that, was a, uh, that was not a good moment for you know, displaying good parental behavior in a sports activity. On just the family front, you and Sherry made the decision at some point that it was best to not have your kids as part yeah. of the company. Yeah. Uh, why was that? I always thought that Addison and Jordan would be best served if they followed their own interest, their own path, and their own passion. And that if they worked at Starbucks, the pressure on them to perform, do things like their father did, to aspire, to, it just, it just, I've seen too many kids take that route and not do well. And, uh, and so what we said is that we would support your efforts in any way you can, any way we can, but not too much, and that you need to go on and, and find your path. And, and I think we're so proud of it. Addison got her master's at NYU in social work. She, she is a social worker helping people and families. Jordan, uh, because of his sports background and playing college basketball, has become a, a sports journalist and doing so well. I'm so proud of him. And both kids are flourishing. Uh, I wish they were in Seattle versus New York, but that's where they are, and, and that's why we're in New York as often as possible. Jordan said he's always felt that had you known he would enjoy Starbucks yeah. as much as anything else, that you would have uh, liked him to be here with you? Oh, for sure. I think it would have, it would have been great for either Addy or Jordy to kind of be at our side and see all this. Uh, they also would have seen a side of their father that I think would be very different. You know, the intensity, the, the drive. Um, I'm not sure that would have been very healthy, but I understand how Jordy would say that and I agree with him. What's the process entailed for figuring out what to do with your wealth after yeah, you think, and Sherry Pat? I think uh, we've been working on that for over a decade and I think we're in very good place in terms of uh, the majority of the money going through the foundation and uh, we've got a long-term plan uh, and I'm proud of the work we've done. I think it's even going to be greater in the future. I wish the needs of, the, of, the, of America and the world were less than they are. They're greater than our capacity. So we have to be very strategic and, and you know, we're not the Gates Foundation. We're a small minnow. We've got to be very strategic and very targeted in the work that we're doing so that we get a return on investment for the money that we're giving away. Hard to f figure that out? I mean, just oh, I think in terms it is of, hard. Yeah. But there we have professional people who are helping us. Uh, we've been very fortunate to become a friend and a mentee of Darren Walker, uh, who runs the Ford Foundation, who probably is the, one of the smartest, most respected people in the world in philanthropy. And, and he's taken Sherry and I under his wing and we're learning from him and uh, we're blessed to have him as a friend.